Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is actually an app review for Android, which is known as AZ Screen Recorder. It's a free download from the Google Play Store, and what it basically does is it basically allows you to take a screen capture of your actual screen on your device right here, meaning like it's going to be record everything you do on your phone itself. Now, why would you want something like this? Well, maybe in case if you wanted to keep track of you know, what you were doing for a specific task, or you could be like me, being a reviewer, find this actually helpful and useful you know, when trying to uh, record app reviews. Now, this is the very first app that I'm going to be uh, reviewing for Android for the first time, and uh, I feel like well, what better way to do an app review for Android than with this kind of app right here? So let's actually take a look, and it's actually not a f a full size app. That's basically all you get is four buttons right here. This button right here is to re is to record, and it gives you a pop up screen saying like it's gonna start capturing everything displayed on the screen, and it's actually gonna pop up in the notification center, which let me get rid of all the notifications before when we start right here. All right, so that uh, that's taken care of already, and now I mean you do could have the option to check it off so that way it doesn't show up again. Uh, otherwise, you just hit start now, and let it count down, and there you go. So now, as you can see, uh, we are currently uh, being recorded right now. Well, you don't see it until you, know, you s swipe down on the notification center, and you have your controls right here. You can hit pause, stop, or draw, meaning that you, know, you can actually draw on the screen, but then of course you see the pop-up message, please donate to get full features, because there is a pro version to this. So if you wanted every single feature for this app, you do have to pay for it. And you know, let's just do some swipe gest gestures right here. So I'm going to you know, launch Google Chrome, if I can find it anywhere. Uh, or better yet, you know, let's just launch the uh, internet browser right here. Oop, don't want to uninstall an app. So, back to my uh, full apps right here. Let's uh, go ahead and find uh, the browser right here. I'm like lost at what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, but uh, basically I'm just trying to uh, record some um, gestures and some swipe gestures uh, and then uh, just to show you guys that uh, it does record and then when you're ready you can hit stop and then let's go into the second button which is your settings and it basically gives you uh, all the settings uh, for how you wanted to record these clips and notice there was a pop-up message right there uh, after you finished recording it with some options right there and you can hit whatever you wanted to play it back or trim, doesn't matter. And then, of course, you have some options right here. So, encoder, you can either do advanced or the default to make it more stable or pause it. And then the magic button, invisible button that you know, does everything. All right, use the pause, resume. So, it basically kind of performs multiple fun functionalities, which I don't want to do that. And then, of course, the stop options, you can either do it through you know, the notification or show the red you know, blinking dot. You, know, you basically have like, a couple options on how you, know, you want to uh, stop your recording. And then, of course, you hit the uh, back uh, capacity touch button right here. It's not like with the iPhone having just one you know, home button and then you will have to hit the arrows. I mean, the arrow does show up in this case, but more than likely you will be using the, you know, the return or back and capacitive touch button. Alright, and then of course resolution, you can change it to however you want. Mine is set to 720p right now. You can do it in 1080p, 2560, uh, however you want the resolution to be. Of course, you can uh, adjust the frame rate and the bit rate uh, at 24 uh, megabits per second, uh, 7.5. And then of course the orientation can be automatic. Uh, Unless if you strictly want it for a certain orientation, in this case it'd be landscape or portrait. I don't know what other orientation option is there other than those two. If there is, let me know. 
Not really, because I know there isn't. <laughs> All right, time lapse, the video speed, and so you can actually make it a little bit faster or slower if you wanted to. Other than that, you just keep it at normal speed. And then, oops, went down too far. Enable audio recording. So you can actually record these screen captures while you're actually speaking into the device's internal microphone. And that that's actually pretty neat. If you wanted to just say a few quick things while you are playing around with your device or browsing on your device, just to keep quick notes. Uh, other than that, if you're like me, like a reviewer, you can actually use that to talk you know, to your you know, subscribers or your audience as well. Other than that, uh, you, you, I can stick to using my microphone on my laptop and then my camera you know, right here. And then, of course, just have the you know, screen capture recording you know, as like the main window you know, in terms of doing the app reviews if I wanted to do it that way. Then, of course, you can overlay some information, text and logo, and then you got a couple of options right or several options right here like so and then then you have show touches right here show visual feedback show camera face cam or rear camera all right and then you can do a countdown output directory so it basically tells you where it's going to be saved to in this case it's saved to my internal storage and then the folder is emulated and then so on and so forth to easy recorder and then there, there there's a new app right there alright and now let's hit third button right here and that's basically where you're gonna see all your clips right here that you record so let's actually play one and you should hear the audio uh, of my voice since I was speaking and, and throughout that whole clip and you can choose whichever application you want to view the video from we'll just do photos for now just once and there you go. So now, as you can see, uh, we are currently uh, being recorded right now. Well, you don't see it until you, know, you s swipe down on the notification. Then, of course, you have your playback button right here. I mean, you can, uh, you know, go back to a previous scene or go t uh, to the next one. Like so. And then that's basically uh, how you're able to view your screen capture recording. Of course, you have a, a little present button right here, which basically it gives you a list of all the features that you are missing in the free version and what you could get with the premium one if you wanted to upgrade and donate some money to this uh, app developer right here. Then, of course, you have the three dots button. You can either rate it, send a feedback. You can share the app through social media or through email, messaging, however you guys want to do it. I mean, it gives you tons of options right there, and then the more apps you have that are capable of sharing, then the more options you're going to have. Credits, uh, you know, basically translators, uh, all that, and you can um, choose your own language as well. Other than that, that last button that I just pushed actually exits the app. Let me do that again one more time. Apps. Let's go to Easy Screen Recorder, and then you just hit that one, and then it basically just exits the app right there. Now, I find this app really useful, and I definitely recommend it, especially for an app reviewer, because that's just going to make hey, your lives easier uh, in terms of like reviewing apps, and then you can actually give uh, your audience the whole uh, experience of using the app versus just having a point-and-shoot camera facing down on your device. Uh, and then recording with multiple microphones I mean but if you want to do that still that's great uh, I mean because what you could do is take this um, video um, footage you're seeing from this camera right now and then take it put it at the bottom right corner and then have the whole background you know, showing your device right here uh, and in this case since I had a record in portrait mode and it's going to show the black letter boxing um, if I wanted to edit it then uh, I can basically have this footage on the bottom right corner taking up part of that letter boxing and then I can put text and then the images on the sides as well plus I can still record from my laptop's microphone I mean I basically just added another option in terms of how I want to do my app reviews now so far I'm doing this for Android right now and I haven't found anything like this for iOS 
I mean, I'm assuming the only way I can do it for iOS is by jailbreaking, but you know, I try to keep my devices clean and fresh you know, without any hacking software on it. But uh, I mean, that's just me. But for those of you guys um, that want to do it that way, that's fine. But for Android users, you don't have to root your device or anything. Uh, I mean, um, because you can get this directly off of the Google Play Store right here. Uh, and that's. Um, pretty much it so thank you so much for watching and I definitely recommend you guys get this app the download link will be in the description below uh, please subscribe rate comment also check out the description for my social media links Twitter and Instagram I will see you guys again in the next video take care everybody